Okay, so... Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. About a year ago, uh, as a lot of people uh, who are here with us uh, in Alavasi were in the continuation of the journey we've been on as a collective group and company, and and we got introduced to um, Xanthal Humal, uh, as most of you are aware, and it's, uh, you know, such a powerful molecule that they discovered from the hops plant, and and uh, this, you know, the most exciting thing for us, as everybody knows, well, especially back then when we got introduced to this, uh, you know, the master molecule that it is, is one of the biggest breakthroughs for me was, not for me, the breakthrough about xanthal humols. It is the only natural ingredient that will tell your body to release its own oxytocin, uh, as you guys all know, you know, commonly referred to the as the hormone of happiness but um that product meridium that of course we have been selling you know when we got together uh and don and i got together and then we got together with kevin and we started really looking at uh xanthal humal and all the potentiality that it has uh including uh donna what you're about to talk uh, uh, or ask about and what we're about to doc- talk about next is um more enhanced or specialized delivery systems uh, like you're both talking about right now to get uh, these nutrients, these molecules into your body and have a even greater bioavailability. So Meridium has been a great product up to this point <clears throat> uh, in its water soluble uh, path and in, in the way it's been working. But um, we have been putting together, and this is really, again, what Uh, Kevin and Donna have been working on is the next evolution of uh, a Xanthal Humal product. And that's what the announcement is going to be tonight. Um, But before I show the slide and show everybody, you know, Kevin, I'd love to, you know, this conversation we were having earlier today, I'd love for you to share what's coming next with uh, a Xanthal Humal uh, product. Okay. Um, so we all have a basic understanding of what a xanthal humol is and that it comes, it's an extract from the hops plant. <clears throat> so I work with a company overseas that makes thousands of gallons of hops extract on a daily basis and supplies the global brewery industry. So these guys are pros. These guys work with agriculture and they own thousands of acres and they grow different hops and there's there's different varieties and there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. And the xanthal humol is an identifiable nutrient that can be concentrated and extracted. But once extracted, whether it's in a liquid or a powder state, it has to be converted to be a bioavailable nutrient. You could make it fat soluble, you could partially partially water soluble which is a lot more bioavailability bioavailable uh, than just the straight xanthal humol but it's still partial there's still sacrifice that happens how does xanthal humol break down in the chemistry lab for us to be able to see it in our computers to be able to diagnose it to be able to measure it we have to put it into a soluble state so our computers will identify the molecule Otherwise, it's going to stay floating in the water and we're not going to be able to identify it. So in science, what we have to do on a Petri dish to make it work in our computers is exactly what we have to do in the body to make it work in our cells. In the Petri dish, we have to bring the pH above neutral. pH is potential hydrogen, but you've all heard the pH, acid to alkaline goes from 0 to 14, 0, or 7 is neutral. Our blood is around 7, 3, 4, 7, 4. The xanthohumol will not be bioavailable, not be enzyme-reacted, and not absorb until it is above neutral. When you put it in an acid liquid for shelf stability, you're not putting it into a pH-neutral environment where it can be absorbed. So... 
you don't want it in an orange juice environment. You want it in a milk environment to get you the idea of the acid and alkaline difference. Instead of doing that in a liquid, which makes it difficult to have shelf stability because there's always going to be a challenge, you know, that yeast could grow or some light molds can grow. They're not toxic to you, but there's a challenge for that. Plus, to get it into the body, we have to go through the gastric acids of the stomach. If your stomach's 5 pH, 5.5 pH, I don't care what you put in, it's going to get acidified. Then when it goes down into the colon, into your intestines, you've got 6.5. You've got a higher alkaline environment. So we've kind of taken a couple of things that you've heard of tonight, and we've put them all together in a soup. We start off with a digestive resistant capsule that is pH specific to the lower intestine to allow the powdered nutrient to get past stomach acids, get into the intestine where a higher pH environment will then allow the capsule to dissolve. The capsule itself will promote a higher pH environment. Now let's look at this one uh, or two inch cube of an intestine, this two inch hose just for your mind's eye. Here comes this pill, we're in this two inch hose and you've got hundreds of feet of that. In that two inch hose, this capsule breaks apart, these particles are released. There is protosome particles that are pH balanced in those dots, in all of those, in that soup that's starting to be created. The xanthohumol hops extract is in that environment. There's calcites that we put in that environment, and all of that creates an above basic 7.5, 7.6 pH environment, and it allows all of those nutrients to work in a, in a positive alkaline pH state to be absorbed into the mucosa, to be absorbed in the intestinal, and you'll get complete absorption of the nutrient because it's pH balanced and delivered into the intestine where it's supposed to be. So that's going to be your delivery system, but there's another condition that nobody has ever addressed, and you probably haven't heard of it. <clears throat> Hops, and we know this, is pro-estrogenic. Estrogen. And for gals, a little bit's okay. And for guys, it's not okay. We get the scientific term, man boobs and beer belly. And the other thing that happens when guys become pro-estrogenic, when they eat stuff like soy or they eat, drink too much beer, the estrogen hormone levels get in balance. And when they get in balance, testosterone suffers. So bad for the guy. He's going to get the mad moves in the beer belly and other erectile challenges, etc. He needs to have testosterone and wants to avoid estrogen. Hops, when extracted, naturally contains proestrogenic compounds and they're non-avoidable. And you're taking this on a daily basis to be happy and euphoric every day and to get the benefits of the antioxidant, the power of xanthohumol, but I don't want the side effects to be a, a contributor to my estrogenic levels. Testosterone is also important for women as it is in men. There's a lot of women that have low T. That gives you your strength hormone. That allows you to have the, the muscle movement, the muscle reactions, and all of that. Testosterone is not a guy-only uh, uh, compound. <clears throat> it's about hormonal balance. There is another nutrient that you'll dis you will disclose that's the subject of the patent that we're writing, and the patent belongs to Elevate, to Elevosity. The patent does not belong to me or my laboratory. I don't build these things for my benefit. We have a benefit as a team. And so the Elevosity patent that I'm writing has this very unique naturally in, natural ingredient that loves estrogen and converts it to testosterone and does it in an average pH. I can do it anywhere from four to nine. So it's going to work in any pH environment. So any of the proestrogenic effect that we're going to get from taking hops is going to work to convert that. And we're putting in more than we need because we still like beers. We still like other proestrogenic compounds. We still can't avoid soy in our diet. So, so if we increase the availability of that nutrient, it will continue to help the hormonal balance and get rid of our proestrogenic condition and create a protestosterone condition, especially for those of us over 50, 
and you don't have to get the shots. And it's, that in itself is a very important change, but that is the uniqueness that allows us to write the patent. And the patent's going to be um, the capsule delivery system with the pH resistant capsule, the pH delivery system with the solution that promotes the proper pH and the, uh, the estrogenic defender of this other compound. Those three things together in themselves are unique enough, but as a triangle is going to give us the best possible nutrient delivery. And if you've ever gotten excited about the product's ability and what you've seen it do in your body, I think you're going to see two and threefold when this product gets into your system. This is really unique. It's exciting. And nobody has this technology. I, uh, <laughs> wait, wait. I, uh... so for people who have been taking Meridium and they, I mean, we have, faithful, faithful followers, we're going to, just so I'm dumbing it down in layman's term, presenting a xanthal humol product that will deliver to the cell, are you saying three to four times the effectiveness of what we're No, you know, I want to say two to three times. Using? I'm going to say two, two to three, three times. times. I want to give the benefit of the doubt to the former formulas that are out there. And this is bioavailable, meaning it gets right to the cell. Correct. And the and liposome, is a, the liposome is also going to help create nanospheres for the small molecules to deliver xanthohumol to the brain. There's a lot I could talk for an hour on each one of these things, so you can tell I'm a big molecule. Wow. <clears throat> I, I think That's you know what well, the the biggest thing that I'm hearing besides the obvious uh, um, that we are now about to deliver, arguably the maybe the most relevant um, product uh, ever, considering uh, all of the studies, all of the research, all of the values of this, the reason they call it the master molecule. To do what you're doing and ex explaining now, Kevin, the way I'm understanding this, just to clarify um, for myself and for everybody listening, uh, the, the previous version, the Meridian version in water, um, now I'm kind of understanding if we're ingesting that, I'm guessing that besides the pH factor, we're, that, that product or very little of it is getting to uh, that place you're describing in the, in the intestines so that it can really get to work past you know, the uh, acidic environment going down our throat in the water, right? I mean... Correct. In the current meridian, the best thing to do would not dilute it, put it in your mouth, hold it into your tongue, and let it sit there for two minutes. That's a higher alkaline environment, has a better potential, and if you really wanted to be a scientist, you'd chew up a Tums, increase the alkalinity of the mouth, and then put it in your mouth for two minutes. <laughs> Okay, Can I so, just take a, a pill instead? That's the goal. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what's going to be the new new Xantho Max, and it's, it's also, only one. It, you only have to take one. One. Yeah. Just one so, capsule. Maximum absorption. That's the key here. Is you're talking about a, a almost. I, I wrote it down. You're talking about complete absorption. Those are the words you use. I'm saying maximum absorption. That's why everybody, you can see on the screen, our new product is called Xanthomax, and it is going to be, as you just heard, um, I don't even have words for it yet of, of my excitement, but, um, you know, it is going to be patented, like Kevin said. We're working on this collectively and together. It's so it's ours, um, and it's going to uh, elevate on a whole nother level what we've been doing, especially when the things we've been talking about with you know these other products that we have that Kevin is, is is created. When we start, you know, when we continue talking about dose, for example, Kevin, I know we we've been talking about that a lot. You know, the the combination of now Xanthomax and Elevate. You know, I already know what, what people are going through, what they're experiencing, what I'm feeling. You know, it's, it, you know, the releasing of these, you know, four uh, neuro happy chemicals is life changing itself. So, but here it is, everybody, uh, Xanthomax um, coming, coming out pretty quick here.
Um, I know we're not uh, talking about any timelines, but it's imminent. We're replacing Meridium right now, uh, mostly because we have uh, gotten to our last uh, batch and we're uh, at the point of uh, running or run out. I don't know, Donna, where we're at, but uh, uh, well, what else? No, there, uh, honestly, there's no, when you have science, upgraded science and you know hats off to the prior formulator but when you have current and updated science you almost have an obligation to attach that science to technology and that's what uh, Kevin has done I appreciate your brilliance I love the liposome technology being used here that is one of the hot trend words uh, and so when you have a better product it just makes corporate responsible uh, responsibility to go ahead and replace uh, Meridian as you have now noticed on your website we have taken it down in anticipation for this and Kevin and his team in Florida are they know this is of high high priority and we're looking at a, a ship date very 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 soon so Kevin thank you so much because this is a product I know people are going to fall in love with uh, and thank you for just taking the time to make and elevate <laughs> what we had. So, uh, so the Trade Commission is telling you. me by by a week from tomorrow we should have our our patent pending number. And when we come out with the product, we're going to have all of our disclosure on the label, and, and we want to be protected. So when you sell the product, you know we don't want a bunch of people running down to the trademark office and and and, and knocking us off. I mean the three products that we four products that we talked about tonight. Any one of these products is enough to build a direct sales company on. We talked about that eye cream mm -hmm. company that the other guy did. They built a company on that, a billion-dollar empire. <clears throat> so any mm -hmm. one of these, you can do that. So having all of the systems and then having access, you know, and I'm kind of bragging, but to an endless facility, it's, it's, it's endless, the things that we can come out with. And we're just going to keep coming out with them because we have a partnership that listens to us and, and we listen to them. This relationship, Donna, that we have and Robert and this team, we're one company. It's like you guys own the factory and I own your distribution relationships. And together, we're one entity and it's limitless. It is uh, yeah. it is completely factual and true. We appreciate. I'm I'm ecstatic about this relationship partnership we are operating as one thank you kevin thomas so much for everything for 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 trusting us in your um um what's the word i'm looking for your uh vision your products that i know that uh, there are a whole lot of much bigger more you know frankly uh better funded companies that could spend a whole lot of money in uh, these kind of life-changing products. But thank you for trusting us and, and, and believing in us and our mission and, and uh, collective uh, vision of where we're going together, like you said. So thank you so much. You've got really. to figure it figured out. Thank you, guys. Thanks, everybody. Good night. Thanks again. Good night.